Hey guys, hello everyone, again, with another video. I, uh, I've been meaning to make this video for a while, but I just never got around to it. Like, I was trying to get, um, another person to, like, uh, help me talk about the situation, because it's, it's a, it's a conversation that should be talked about more, and this game right here is considered the black sheep. Not even considered the black sheep, it's not even considered part of Devil May Cry, which I think is interesting because it grabbed a lot of fans' attention. Whether it's good uh, press or not, you know, it was still a very uh, big boost for Devil May Cry as a whole. So, in a way, without DMC, we probably wouldn't have had uh, so many sales with Devil May Cry 5, like, I, I don't think, but, you know, that, that's just me, and, uh, we're, we're gonna talk about Devil May Cry 5 as well, and, uh, I think this, I don't know what I'm gonna name this yet, but, you know, we're just gonna start off, so the storylines of Devil May Cry 5 compared to DMC, I, I thought it was funny, because a lot of people were talking so much shit about this game, DMC, they're like, oh, the, the dialogue is terrible. The dialogue in DMC, terrible, right? They say it's too cheesy, and it's, uh, it's too much of, like, an asshole or whatever. And we got Devil May Cry 5. You know, Nero is pretty much the, the same exact way. He's literally uh, fashioned to look like the reboot Dante. And... Everyone's just like, oh yeah, he's he's better off that way. It's like, okay, dude, whatever with that one. But, you know, there, there are a couple things that I think is hypocritical from uh, the Devil May Cry community. Like, they, they don't know what they want. And one of these things they, they always spout is that, oh, DMC is this edgy, shitty uh, reboot. And it's like, okay, first of all, Devil May Cry was always edgy. So I don't know what the fuck you're spouting up your own ass, like, uh, the, these guys love to smell their own farts, and whenever you try to say, hey, you know, I thought it was a pretty good game, they're like, oh, you, you could think it's a good game, but brrr, just berate you with the shit, so I, I'm talking to them, if you don't like the game, because, you know, the game just wasn't appealing to you, and, you know, that was it, then, you know, more power to you, but, even with Devil May Cry 5 coming out and that being pretty much an end, I'm pretty sure that's the end. They could keep going, but I don't think that it would be wise to keep going. But they will find an opportunity to say Devil May Cry, the DMC was shit. And it's shit. And it pisses me off because, like, you know, I enjoyed Devil May Cry 5. And there are some things that I thought could have been handled a lot better in Devil May Cry 5. Hence the ending. The ending of Devil May Cry 5 is so fucking lackluster. Compared to the games that we've had prior, it feels like a slap in the face. And uh, it felt like the story that I was playing throughout that uh, entire uh, game was kind of meaningless. Because the big bad is, and I'm going to put some spoilers here, even though you know it's like a month or two old. So, you know, potential spoilers here. Uh, the big bad, obviously, is uh, Virgil, you know. And V is obviously Virgil as well. It's like, as if we didn't know that before. It's like, it was pretty obvious from the get-go with the fucking poem shit he'd be spouting. But, you know, I, I was on board with them merging, them being separate. I thought that was a cool aspect. And when he came back, he was like, oh, I got my power. So now we gotta fight, and, you know, they fight, and Nero, you know, stops them, and then all of a sudden, Virgil's like, you know, I'm gonna go back with your old man, or not your old man, I'm gonna go back with your uncle, is what I'm gonna say, and uh, we're gonna be family in hell, but Nero, you're gonna stay here, you're gonna be the new Devil May Cry guy, and I didn't like that too much, it's like, we got him back, like, you know, a lot of people were asking, oh, yeah, God, bring him back, bring him back. We bring him back, and they go to hell again. It's DMC, not DMC, it's Devil May Cry 2 again. And people are not saying shit about that. It's literally Devil May Cry 2 again. They go to hell. 
The only difference is Virgil goes with him. And I, I guess it's for a better reason, but it's like, how are you guys not talking about this shit? You know, it's like, I, I get it. It is a love letter to the series. I'll, I'll give you that much. The gameplay, you know, the, the interactions, some of the dialogue is very cheesy. That That's one thing that I, I, I fucking hate because no one talks about how cheesy the dialogue is. Almost no one talks about how edgy it is, how, you know, fucking over the top it is. You know, because they, they said all that shit about DMC. And DMC was just hated on for being a reboot. It's like, we know this now. And it still is, to this day. And even with inner workings, not inner workings, but even the, the director of Devil May Cry 5 is like, dude, I would still love a DMC 2. Because of what it did, and how unique it was. You know, their take on... The Devil May Cry was fresh, it was new, it was a lot of things that this series is not. And keep in mind, I'm saying this in my own words, I'm mixing it with his. But, you know, what he ended up saying was, it's unique, it was fresh, I would love to see one, but Ninja Theory is with Microsoft, so it's going to be kind of hard to get DMC2. That's not saying that they don't want to make a DMC2, though. You see, I would love a DMC2 because I actually really enjoyed the, the story. I enjoyed the route they were going because I understood it as a separate universe. I never understood it as rebooting the whole fucking uh, thing and them spitting on Devil May Cry. And even when it looked like they were, they weren't because they were paying homage to a lot of fucking shit. It just wasn't um, Devil May Cry enough for Devil May Cry 5 fans. So... I just didn't really understand why so many people, and probably people that are going to comment down below, just act like DMC did nothing right. And it's like, DMC's story is literally a coming of age. It's Dante becoming, you know, who he really is. And him, at the end, you know, Mondays. And a lot of people talked about Mondays, like, oh, yeah, you know, Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor. It's like, okay, dude. They wanted to make the villain grounded. They wanted to make him more real. Like, you know, the demons inside of us, that we say, that it's a, it's a kind of metaphorical thing. That's what they were going for. People seeing that shit, the reboot, they just wanted to hate everything. And probably, you play it again, you still won't understand it. Because you'll be like, this is the, the game that potentially almost took over the Devil May Cry franchise. And it was never supposed to be like that. Because even before um, Devil May Cry 5 was, was made, they were still thinking of making DMC 2. But they just never had time. They, they wanted to go back to it, but they just they couldn't do it. So... The characters of DMC, Dante, Virgil, while they're not like the badass, overpowered, oh my god, god tier kind of people that, uh, you know, they are in Devil May Cry, they are still uh, powered in their own rights. Like, they, they grow with the game. And that's the thing that people kind of griped on for no reason. It's like, this is supposed to be the first installment in probably a trilogy. So you're you're getting them at their base. You should have probably compared them with you know Dante when he's in the anime. Like that that type of shit. Which even then, you know, he, he was just always fucking cool. So, you know, he was always cool. He always yeah, you know, doing his shit and this Dante is more an asshole turns into more uh, of a hero, which is new for that character. And it's like, we've had our fair share of story before with, uh, you know, Trish and Devil May Cry and all that. And, uh, you know, him killing his brother, Devil Never Cry. Except he didn't kill his brother. But, you know, the story in DMC was much more fleshed out. And in Devil May Cry 5, the story is good, 
but not, it just didn't feel like enough for me. It's like, so sometimes it felt like I was going through the, the levels just to get to more of the story. Like, I, I didn't appreciate every level that I was in, like in DMC. Like, every level in DMC looked and felt unique. And then Devil May Cry 5, while they all look great, they all look great, I was just like, okay, let me get through the other levels so I can get to the good shit. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that, you know, every level looks shit. I'm saying that I would have rather been done with one level to go to more of the story. Even though this level had some really good story elements and it looked pretty cool, not good enough to capture my attention and be like, wow, this is a good level one of those and uh dmc had a lot of unique shit going on for it and i do hope it gets a dmc too and most likely it will now will a lot of people be pissed about it probably for no reason other than the fact that it's dmc like it's a reboot and that they would be continuing with it when they thought it was dead and that it was buried but they never said it was buried now, I, I love Devil May Cry, and I love DMC, and I appreciate them as completely separate entities. Both of them are good in their own merit, in their own ways. DMC is a more real take on the series. Devil May Cry is way more anime than it ever will be, than DMC will ever be, especially after 5. With the Michael Jackson dance. So I'm never going to forget that. But, uh... I, I just wanted to talk... A little bit... About... Just my thoughts on Devil May Cry 5 and DMC. Like, I still would play DMC... Over Devil May Cry 5. And that's not saying that Devil May Cry 5 is a bad game... It's just saying that comparing the stories, it just didn't feel enough for me. Especially since a lot of people are like, oh yeah, we've been waiting for this for years. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I mean, was it worth it? I, I don't know. I, I don't feel like it was worth it. Like, if I was waiting that long, if I was a, like a diehard fan and I was looking at that, I'd probably still be in the honeymoon phase, but it's just looking at it. From my perspective, everything was good up until the end. And that's uh, kind of the problem with me. It's like the, the build-up and then kind of the fall. And with DMC, there was build-up, build-up, build-up. You kill the, like, weird-ass-looking Mundus. And then right after that, climax. Virgil literally betrays you. Or he, he doesn't tell you his actual plan. And he's like, yeah, you know, we're going to rule. And Dante's like, uh, no. And they clash because they're always destined to clash. It, it says that in the, the story as well. So it's like that felt more conclusive to me. And that, that made me want to look forward to something more than, uh, what Devil May Cry 5 offered. And then it's, you could probably say it's because it's inclusive and it, it's the, the end and everything, but I, I don't know. It just felt like they, they want to do more, basically. Because then it's going to be like, oh yeah, they're going to get out. And it's like, they're going to fight demons and they're going to get out and they're going to fight, 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 fight. It's like, dude, they're, they're getting old, man. They're going to super fucking old. But you do, you want to put them through Devil May Cry 6, 7, and 8, man? Come on. But, uh, joking aside, I, I do have confidence that DMC2 will come out at some point, and when it does, it will probably still be hated to a degree because people just like to hate on shit that is easily hateable. Like, it's, it's almost like they're, they're treating it as, like, a Resident Evil 6 
or the fear three of the franchise when it really wasn't. Like, it was not that bad. It's just a bunch of diehard fans acting like it was completely different when it still kept the, the core element of what Devil May Cry was. And it amplified it. So, that's really all I have to say about the rambling. I don't think that anyone's going to see this. And if anyone does see this, uh, it's probably going to get a lot of dislikes. Because no one likes this opinion about DMC. Especially when it's compared to Devil May Cry 5. And I'm basically saying that Devil May Cry 5 is inferior to DMC. I would say they're about equal. Because I do have my gripes with DMC. And I do have my gripes with Devil May Cry 5. That doesn't mean that one is better than the other though. I'm not saying that DMC is better than Devil May Cry 5. I'm not saying that Devil May Cry 5 is better than DMC. Because they both leave me wanting more. And especially for Devil May Cry 5, I don't think that should be a thing. So, I'm just going to end it there. <clears throat> I'm just going to end it there. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video.